Here's a fresh looking one. An old 18 volt bars drill set. Drill and impactor. Nearly brand new. Impactor's done nothing. Working. I already know what the problem is. Battery's not holding the charge. They're not coming up the power. It was fully charged. Right. Problem is these. Drills are brand new. They're working fine. These batteries. Other batteries on the go over there too. Nickel metal hydrate batteries. Another one is NICAD batteries. These are the older type cells, they're not lithium. NICAD and nickel metal hydrate. They're the old technology, the old type batteries. Biggest problem with them has not been used. Lithium now, charge your battery, throw it in the box, leave it there for a couple of months, not a problem. These here, charge them up, leave them in the box, they drain. Eventually go flat. And every time you do that, you charge them and don't use them. They build up memory inside the cells. Even in the air, using them, whenever you run them down and you don't let them run down totally, then you charge them up and between halfway, they still build up a memory. Basically, crystals grow inside the cells and lower the capacity of the battery. So we stick them on charge now. Come up and charge. Five minutes later, they're telling you they're fully charged. It should be taking an hour or two to charge. And they charge in a few minutes. The cells are, have a crystal or a memory built up in them. You can boost them. Or work them in a way to get get rid of some of the, the memory. Boys use a welder and spike them and different things. A wee bit risky for me. There's an easier way to do them at the house. So if you have these old batteries, you wouldn't be worth buying new versions of these now. Wouldn't be worth it. Plus the simple fact, if you're not using these ones, and they've built up memory and they're now faulty, if you won't replace them with new ones, you're just going to do the same thing. A year's time, they're going to be destroyed again. You need to be taking these out every week and using them or ch and charging them up. Otherwise, they just go to they just die. But if they are like that and they're no longer holding the charge, what you need is a 24 volt bulb on a lead. All you need to do is stick your bulb onto your terminals. And so you get a bit of light. Clamp them, clamp that on, and leave that bulb to run and completely drain the battery, totally flat. Once that bulb gives no light whatsoever, take your battery then, stick it on your charger, give it a full charge. Once it's charged then, put your bulb back onto it, completely drain it again. Do that as many times as you want, five, six, seven times at least. You'll notice the bulb keeps running longer and longer and longer every time and it keeps taking longer to charge your battery. Because you're completely depleting the battery, you're breaking down that crystal structure inside and then totally charging it up again, builds up your ampage, builds, breaks down the memory and builds up your ampage in so your battery starts using full capacity again. You might get 50% of it, you might get more, just depends on the state of the battery. If you're at zero volts and it's not charging, your battery's gone, but if it's charging up a wee bit, you can boost them to an extent. The other thing you can do is buy adapters. You actually get... Stay, stay charging, would you? There we go. Get adapters for these old type batteries. Put your adapter onto your drill, and then your adapter then will take the new lithium type batteries. You slide in once. That's another way of keeping your tools going. So you have basically three options if you have 
old tools with thick NICAD or metal nickel hydrate batteries. Or if you come across new tools, not used like this here, so this boys obviously either bought or found an old drill that I never needed and never used. Tools are fine, batteries are bad. You have three options available. You can boost them like this here and see if you can recover the batteries themselves. Keep repeating, charging, running flat, charging, running flat. Do that a good few times, five or six times. That might take the batteries back again, but you're still only ever going to be as good as the batteries ever were. So like so these are 2.5 amperes. That's the best you're ever going to get out of them. The other option is to buy an adapter. This is a D-Volt one for an 18 volt D-Volt. This adapter goes onto the tool, so then you can fit a lithium battery. This way you can convert your lithium batteries to fit your NICAD tools. So we have them there for the likes of the D-Walt nail guns. Boys still use away at these here. The old type D-Walt gun was the best, so you need an adapter because the batteries always eventually fail. That's one option. You can probably see if you can get one of these here for the old type Bosch batteries. You just need to have the same terminals that fit your tool. That's one option, battery adapters. The other option, if you wanted to boost these batteries, if you didn't want to do it this way with the bulb, you can get yourself a balance charger like these here. This is for an RC charger, uh, IMAX B6. And this can actually balance charge your, not balance charge, but cycle your battery itself. So NICAD cycle, discharge, charge, five cycles, enter, hit enter, get at the start. That'll actually charge and discharge your battery on its own. That's another option, but this is by far the handiest option. Simple bulb has to be higher than the voltage of the battery. So 24 volt bulb, couple of leads, use your own charger. Do that five or six times. You'll soon get the batteries up to at least 50 to 60 percent capacitor. Let's then boost it a bit. A bit more power than now. Should last a bit longer. Oof. Keep them running as long as you actually use the batteries now daily or at least weekly, they'll stay good and they'll keep their charge. But if he's not using them and they're lying for months on end, they're just going to go back again.